Here's one snippy sneeze. Bukowski Brothers is a Cape Breton vaudeville. Uh, it takes place uh, in the 1920s and 30s following these two brothers, Jim and Conrad, as they uh, go over their lives and careers in vaudeville, uh, pre vaudeville, during, and present. So I play Conrad Bukowski of the Bukowski Brothers. Um, I would say Conrad is the more slapsticky, upbeat of the two. Uh, there are some moments in this play where we kind of go through the history of the brothers and we unearth some skeletons, so to speak, and, and, and some dark history. Uh, and, and Jim tends to be a little more brought down by it while Conrad tries to keep everything light and, and, and fun and happy and silly and ridiculous. Um, so I love this character because I love playing comedy. I love improvising. How would it work? Well, assuming you haven't forgotten the old routines, does a fish forget how to swim? Does a man forget how to make passionate love? My name is Rob Almond, and I play Jim Wachowski of the Wachowski Brothers. And uh, Jim's the older brother. He is the foil to Conrad's slapstick, uh, um, sort of happy-go-lucky outlook on life is he sees himself as being sort of responsible for his brother and the act and taking things on the road. So he's relatable in that he's like anybody who's looking after someone, anybody who's trying to make a way in the world. And particularly in a time in Canada where you never really knew what was around the bend as far as your career choices, your lifestyle, whether you would have a job the next day. You know, a lot of the protections and stuff that are in place today weren't then. And employment in show business was even more of a slippery slope for a razor's edge. I don't do recommendations. I, isn't that your job? Are you a big dipper? I play Caitlin Rose McLean, who is the wife of Jim, and I want to be showgirl. Um, being the only girl has been tons of fun because I get to work with Mark and Rob, who are awesome. They're like working with two best friend brothers. There's been a lot of laughing, and I get to rope them in now and again. Um, and there's a lot of singing and dancing, and pun after pun after pun, so you'll get a great show. One thing I want to point out is the amazing efforts on our set and stage um, from our production team uh, led by Craig Paris and costumes and keeping everything really period, trying to capture that the feel and theme of vaudeville you know, anywhere. Well, this is an excellent opportunity for people to get a, to know a little bit more about an often forgotten period of Canadian history. Um, during the 1880s to around the 1930s, we had a pretty active vaudeville scene, and uh, this is an opportunity for people to get to know about that.